Hello everyone. Today we will talk about the second variable for the guitar process, which is bade metal. This variable is divided into two variables, which is pipe diameter and P number. So we have two paragraphs right here. QW-403.16 for the pipe diameter and QW-403.18, which is for P number. As we agreed on our last session, we have to follow three steps in order to be able to know what to do with our joint. So the first step, we will go to article number four, and the second step, we will read paragraph QW-402.16. Okay, so let's go to paragraph QW-403.16, and it says that a change in the pipe diameter beyond the range qualified in QW-452, except as otherwise permitted in QW-303.1, QW-303.2, QW-381.2C, or QW-382.1F. The paragraphs QW-303 and QW-381 is for weld overlay and hard facing. So if you will use uh, weld overlay or hard facing, you will refer to those paragraphs Q Q QW-303 or 381. If not, we will refer to paragraph QW-452. Okay, so it's giving, re it's giving you right here two cases. The first one for tube to tube sheet welding, an increase or decrease greater than 10% of the specified tube diameter, or if it's a groove weld attaching a set on nozzle or attaching a set and nozzle and we will discuss this later on okay so the first case that we have right here it's for a groove weld diameter this is pipe to pipe weld we will refer to table qw 452.3 and this is for groove weld diameter limits it's having right here in the table two columns, the first one for the outside diameter of the test coupon and the second column is for the outside diameter qualified. It's giving us ranges for each diameter. So if uh, the outside diameter of the test coupon is less than one inch, which is 25 millimeter, then we will have a minimum outside diameter at the size welded and a maximum as unlimited. If the outside diameter of the test coupon is between 1 inch, which is 25 millimeter, and 73 millimeter, then the outside diameter will have a limit of minimum 25 millimeter and maximum unlimited. If the outside diameter is over 73 millimeter, then our outside qualified diameter will have a range of minimum 73 millimeter and an unlimited maximum range. And it's giving us a quick note right here that the 73 millimeter outside diameter is equal to the nominal pipe size two and a half inch, which is the N65. So for example, right here, if we have an outside diameter of the test coupon in two inch, then uh, the minimum qualified outside diameter is going to be one inch or 25 millimeter. And we will have an unlimited maximum uh, limit for the outside diameter qualified and this is for the first case as we said right here which is groove weld which is pipe to pipe as we can see right here in the picture okay let's go to the second case which is going to be a fillet weld pipe as we did in our first case so we will go to table qw-452.4 and this is for small diameter fillet weld test but right here, uh, this table contains three columns instead of two. One is for the outside diameter of the test coupon. The second is for the minimum outside diameter qualified. And the third is for the qualified thickness. If the outside diameter is less than one inch, which is 25 millimeter, then the minimum outside diameter qualified is the size welded and it qualifies us to all the thickness. If the outside diameter is in range between one inch, which is 25 millimeter and 73 millimeter, then the minimum outside diameter qualified will be one inch or 25 millimeter. And it's giving us all the qualified thickness. And if it's over 73 millimeter, then the minimum outside diameter is 73 millimeter. And it's giving us also all the qualified thickness. And this is for the, filled, uh, the fillet weld pipe. For the first case, okay, 
to know all the other cases that we have right here which is case number three case number four case number five for case number three it's tube to tube sheet it's saying right here an increase or decrease greater than 10 percent of the specified tube diameter so for example if the outside diameter of the tube is 25 per millimeter any increase or decrease of 10 per percent more than the outside uh, diameter will need requalification Okay, referring to set on and set in that we mentioned before, a set on is like the one that we have right here in case number four. We can see that the nozzle is on the branch. So in that case, as it says here, the nozzle or the branch pipe outside diameter governs, which means that I qualify the welder to the outside diameter of the branch. So if I have a joint of two inch, branch and four inch diameter all i should care about is that the welder is qualified for the two inch of the nozzle while in the set in case as we can see right here is saying that the shell head or run pipe outside diameter governs so if i have a two inch nozzle needs to be welded in four or six inch branch all that i need to make sure of is that the welder is qualified to weld the four or the six inch for the branch. Okay, so this is basically all the cases that we might have for this variable, which is for the pipe diameter. Okay, just to let you know that this variable for the base metal for the pipe diameter, it's not only for the guitar process. It's also for the shielded metal arc welding, the gas metal arc welding, the submerged arc welding, the flux cord arc welding, the plasma arc welding and also for the gas tungsten arc welding so this is this session was like a sum up to all the type of the cases for the groove weld for the pipe diameter at the variable in our next session we will talk about the other variable which is paragraph qw-403.18 for the p number as a variable see you soon